I have some good news today. I was inspecting this car this morning and uh, yeah, I did pass. So all good, my day is great. And uh, while I'm going home, I probably will go over the process what it took for me and uh, so you know what to expect. So the first thing what I did, I did book appointment because I could probably go without the appointment, but it is recommended because of the COVID kind of whole situation and uh, you will avoid the queues as well. So where I did that, I will put the link down below for the website I did that because there is many places where you can do inspection, but I was doing a research a little bit because I needed to find a place where I can partly at least speak English because my Portuguese is still not that great. I know that's not excuse to learn the language, but uh, yeah, that's kind of was important part for that. So I found that place as a good, experts was recommending that, so that's where I went. And uh, yeah, I didn't, this, it did, this, this place didn't disappoint me at all was everything was great and perfect the service was really on point so yeah so the first thing it, this morning when I turned it up I went into the office where I was asked to show my kind of car registration that document which I showed that and uh, I didn't need it to provide any driving license passport nothing like that just that paper and then I was asked to provide a uh, NIF number uh, so yeah, that's all. And then I paid 31 euros 48 cents or something like that, which is car inspection price for lightweight vehicles. And uh, yeah, then I was simply asked to drive into the line one, where nice gentleman waited me already, and uh, he just asked me to step out of the car. And from that place, he basically took over. So he started to do the standard kind of procedure, checking lights, checking emissions, uh, checking uh, horn, windscreen wipers, all that stuff as a regular in whole Europe. So once we went past that, we moved forward to the next, next kind of station, which is uh, kind of drivetrain inspection where they checking the brakes, checking suspension and all that stuff and I'm just basically standing near the car and moving forward as he is going and the last step is he is driving uh, I don't know how it's called in English where he going under the car and checking all that and uh, that's as well like steering inspection and stuff like that happening place so there is name of that but I can't tell you but you really probably will understand that anyway so in that moment he is asking me to get back into the car once I'm in the car he shows that I will need to start moving a steering wheel showing exactly how to do that and he will just be under the car and in the microphone he will tell me when I need to start to do that I will need to apply the brakes as well at some point I will let them go, kind of release the brakes and then I will need to kind of move car forward a little bit where he will be checking the rear. So all that is provided clearly without any like uh, mismatches and everything was good. Then the next step was he was asking me to move the car a little bit more, more forward which I basically was going out from the area where they inspecting the cars and that's where the last step been taken where he was asking me for uh, stuff like triangle which is mandatory which must have the yellow jacket must have uh, first aid kit and the next thing is, is the mandatory as well in Portugal that even I don't know this car don't have from the, man, the from the factory the spare wheel but when I bought the car I had the spare wheel in a boot 
because that's somehow the mandatory in the Portugal that you need to have that spare wheel. So that's very interesting. And uh, yeah, so that that's that's the mandatory and the mandatory as well is the car jack. It should be. What is important about the triangle, not every single triangle will work because I had one which I bought like many, many years back in Latvia, which was fine in Latvia without any kind of issues. But he did check that triangle here and he said that that's not it's not good. There should be some sort of certification or something on the triangle. Uh, but I had the original one which came with the car, which was good and that everything was fine. So all those things are mandatory and they must have in your car. And uh, yeah, after that he gave me the paperwork where I have my new kind of label which I will put in my windscreen. And that's it. From that point, I drove away and all is done for one another year. So if there are some issues, of course, he will come and tell you. So he he pointed me that uh, in the next next time when I will come, probably need to uh, pay attention on my front uh, disc brakes because you can see the grooves already into them. They was all fine, they working fine, but he just pointed out that that's probably the next thing I probably would like to replace on my car. So yeah, but apart from that, everything was perfectly nice and uh, everything was explained and. and like no questions at all so I'm quite happy because the exam is passed and uh, yeah that's what it took in the next car related uh, video I will be talking about the paying uh, road tax how to do that the ways how you can pay that and uh, all that will be covered in the next car related video and that's where I will see you if you have any questions about the car inspection, MOT, or they call it IPO. Leave the comment down below. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you on the next one. Yeah. Mm -hmm.